All right, guys, welcome. Welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. <sighs> Halloween's come early. It has. We're going to talk about Sexy Beasts, which is which is Netflix's, according to Rolling Stone, weird new dating show mm -hmm. uh, where people dress up like animals, kind of kind of like furries, right? And they go on dates and I guess they're supposed to get to like each other uh, uh, based on their sparkling personalities. But you know what? It's, they're going on about how you can't see them so you can't tell you know, what they look like and that's true, you can't see their faces. But you can see that none of them are fat people or anything like that, you know what I mean? So clearly, you know, they're like, yeah, he's looking, oh, look at your body, you know? So it's not really, her boobs are sticking out. You can tell they're, they're good looking people for the so, most part. So uh, plot twist, it's not a mask. No, oh, yeah, no, it is. Uh, so we're gonna we're gonna talk about that. The reaction people have had to this furry dating program coming to Netflix. I swear to God, Netflix just we're gonna do another Netflix video later. But they just I, I think they have like a wheel and they just like spin it and just try to like mash up different ideas. Mm -hmm. Like yeah, that sounds great. That sounds great. Oh, we got the most popular, the mass Singer, and like one of these dating shows because they have a celebrity dating game now. Let's just shove that shit together. Furries are hot. And 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 we'll make this, you know, sexy we'll call it sexy beasts. Sexy beasts. All right, guys. We're gonna we're gonna talk about this and, and the Twitter reaction to it, which is uh, priceless. Mm -hmm. Now, before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We're over 201,000 subs. Thank you for the support. And speaking of support, we have a real quick message from the sponsor of this video, mm -hmm. HelloFresh. Uh, they wanted to send us some free food. We said, yeah, we like free food. Normally we, we do. Don't. And we yeah. liked it so much, we actually bought it ourselves. We did. We did. What we're not, what we're not running is Rage Shadow Legends. No. So, <laughs> so stick around. We're going to run this and then we'll be back. This is the Hello Fresh box. We're gonna show you what's inside of the box because I, I have no idea. Beef. Flauta Supreme with pico de gallo and lime cream. This is fancy food. Here is the chicken. And it's it's still cold. So they they mark the bags with what meal it is. Oh, there's lots of meat in the bottom. Just oh meat. my God! It's a box of meat. Yeah, really yeah. typically is a lot of meat in the bottom. So why is it cold? Why is it cold? Why is it cold? Because of this. Crazy there might be ingredients under the ice, guys. Oh, oh wait, no, 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 we got a chicken cutlet. Oh, Lord. Endless right. meat is the best guy. This is the beef to supreme. What's in the bag? Flour tortillas. Okay. Six. Mexican blend cheese. This is tomato. <laughs> One Roma tomato. Tex Mex paste. paste. Southwest spice blend. Sour creams. Mm -hmm. A lime. Yeah, it's lime. So we're gonna cook. Ooh, that smells good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Rolling them up. Keep zesting. I'm zesting. He's zesting. I'm zesting. Looks pretty close. Use a code below and you can get some delicious food delivered to your door. Thank you uh, for sponsoring this video. And now we're going to get back to it. Hello Fresh's recipes are delicious. We actually subscribed because it was so good. Uh, it saves you time. We don't have time to shop. Do you have time to shop? And it's flexible and fits your lifestyle. You can pause your order or you can add different menu items. It's actually really, really cool. Go to HelloFresh.com and use code CLOWNFISH14 to get 14 free meals plus free shipping. Bye. All right, guys, welcome back. Sexy Beasts on Netflix. Uh, look at this, um, look at this uh, beautiful train wreck. Uh, yeah, he yeah. said ass first, personality second. Oh my God, okay. So this is, a, this is a thing on Netflix, real life singles, sporting elaborate makeup and prosthetics to put true blind date chemistry to the test. Except like you said, you kind of get a feel that there's a good looking person underneath underneath mm -hmm. the uh porpoise <laughs> yeah know, when you're seeing the people makeup. it's like yeah you know come on we're all very attractive oh uh, i i saw this i was like oh my god i thought this was another season of sweet tooth or something <laughs> yeah it's um, got really weird oh that's gonna be on the front page of usa today that's right they're gonna be like oh my god these interspecies relationships are getting out they of even make control. a joke at the end of the, of the trailer about interspecies relationships it's funny but yeah so um <sighs> First comment, this is, you know, 
Oh, there we go. Oh, they're having a carriage ride. Mm. Should they be pulling the carriage? No, no, no. But go ahead. Cause you go down here. Uh, first comment. <laughs> Ass first person. How do you say it? Am I on drugs? <laughs> this punksy right there. And the that, most famous ground. That's the third most famous ground in Pennsylvania. <laughs> oh, God. Netflix executives greenlit a show purely for reaction memes, and they'll probably succeed. Yeah, actually. I'm sure they probably will. Actually, uh, Insider said, Netflix's absurd new dating show proves it wants to memify the viewing experience while competitors lock in viewers with actual storylines. Yeah, there's no storylines. It's just a bunch of memes. A uh, bunch of memes. Uh, thank you. It's always, wait, let's see here. All those people are thin, attractive underneath. Yes, thank you. So the based on personality alone thing is a bit of a stretch. Exactly. I'm like, you can tell. I'm like, look, she's in her nice, tight fitting, hot bod clothes. Yes, they're clearly unattractive and it's all about personality. Ah. Uh, yeah, furries and normies are both like, what the fuck? What the hell? Mom, come pick me up. I'm scared. <laughs> Um, all these people are so conventionally attractive and all thin women have tight clothes on. Also, what the fuck is yes, this? Yes, thank you. There we go. Uh, unless they sprinkle in some contestants who aren't conventionally attractive, what's the point? Uh, yeah, well, the point is um, furries dating and uh, memes. It's, it's, well, some of them are furries, some of them are like devils. I mean, and I mean, I'm not even calling furries because that's not, because actual furries, I, I think would probably be, a, you know, that's not what a furry is. You know what I mean? <laughs> Did you fall in love with someone based on personality alone? Oh, if it's about furries, the costumes would actually look good. Yeah, yes, yeah. thank you. That's exactly what I was going to say. Yeah, just put them in the actual furry costumes. That'd yeah, be... then you couldn't see a body type or anything. No. Um, you know, and, and that's just it. You know, I think furries would be kind of like, mm, about this because they're they're kind of calling that furries or trying to, to bank on that, but it's not really what this is. They're fur baiting. Yeah, they're fur baiting. Yes, you heard it here first, fur baiting. They're fur baiting. Uh, it's not really about furries. They want furries to watch it, but also normies who like attractive people with ugly facial features. But they're not, I don't think any of them are going to be ugly. No. I mean, clearly. We can't do that. We can't do that. I love this one. Any day now, we'll find out all of Netflix uh, HQ staff died in a fire or something years ago. And their whole business strategy ever since has been the result of servers achieving consciousness. Yes. Desperately trying to understand humanity and failing miserably That's what it comes it. across as. We're gonna AI talk about, wrote this. Yes, we're going to have another thing here in a bit too. Another Netflix story here shortly. And it is it's starting to be like, who the hell is, is doing this? You guys were trying to make it. Netflix in 2021. God. Uh, the makeup and costume artists preparing the contestants each day. Pretty much. Yeah. I would not want to wear prosthetics like that. I mean, I thought that maybe they'd just throw a mask on. I'm like, oh my God, this is like a multi-hour makeup Look job. at this comment. This Brett comment. Shows like The Last Kingdom, Alder Carbon, The Dark Crystal, Marco Polo, The Irregular, Santa Clarita Diet, etc. All canceled. And then you produce this horse shit, Netflix. Whoa. Wait, I'm being too kind. Horse shit is an understatement. It's like that one. It's you know like it's like, what the hell? Those shows were expensive. The show looks like it cost a couple of days and 20 bucks. Horseshit is a challenge in this show. Yeah, all the goaded shows you took away, the greatest of all time shows you took away just to make this shit. Um, yeah, there were a lot of, and people were getting very salty because Netflix, they would actually put out pretty decent shows and then they would cancel them almost immediately. Dark Crystal still stings because it was like one of the best damn mm -hmm. revivals of, of anything 80s uh, we've ever seen. Well, you didn't watch it. But I watched I, part of it. I freaking loved it. Mm. I'm sorry. The, the two guys sitting on a couch, one takes, this is what I was saying. One, one takes a long drag on a joint and says, I know, wait, wait, I have to do it. I know, we'll make some mass singer with The Bachelor. And he passes the joint to the next one, takes a long drag. Oh, that's fucking brilliant. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this is. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that earlier today, and I didn't know what it was about. Now it makes total sense. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. Now it completely makes sense. All right. Well, Rolling Stone, which <laughs> used to be about music, uh, it used to be about music. Remember when they used to interview like the Beatles? Well, once upon a time, MTV was about music, and so it was VH1. Right. So yeah, I know, right? Uh, so Rolling Stone, they did a story. Furries react to Netflix's weird new dating show, Sexy Beast. Now we're actually getting the people that are supposed to be represented. This representation that Netflix, this is Netflix representation. What, they're representing people that wear masks and, you know. I don't, as long as they're not actively encouraging hate or violence toward the furry fandom, I don't mind. So here we have from Insider, 
Uh, their absurd new dating show proves it wants to memify things. Here are the bullet points. Netflix unveiled a new reality dating show on Wednesday, setting off an online meme storm. Mm -hmm. I guess what they're going for. Yep, the same thing happened with Tiger King and Bridgerton. Yeah, we, we know. know how that turned out. Well, that's our new strategy is basically, and we'll talk about this in the next video. That's that's Netflix's strategy is basically to shock people mm -hmm. into watching their shows. Yeah, it's working for them. Unfortunately. Cuties. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah. it's all working for them. Yeah. That feat will come in handy for Netflix as it relies on a broad array of content to keep its place on the streaming throne. Oh, this is the, the, I guess they're Porcelain thinking of a different, throne. yeah, so they're thinking of a different throne than me. Um, it's a part of Netflix's strategy seems to be memifying the streaming experience and it's working. It is. We saw the same thing with Tiger King, Queen's Gambit, and Bridgerton. Uh, now a new reality dating show coming to Netflix in July has set the online world aflame once again. So this is all marketing. It's outlandish, slightly nightmare-inducing. It might be exactly what the platform needs if it wants to keep HBO Max and Disney Plus from gaining on it. So not only have, have uh, news outlets become more clickbaity, but Netflix is becoming more clickbaity. They're not interested in creating quality shows, are they? they just no, want, it doesn't they, seem to be. They, they get rid of bus. quality shows that cost money and they do shit like this. Yeah, so based on the trailer, there's a Beauty and the Beast moment in the end when the couple is revealed to each other in their human makeup free forms. What if they're actually attracted to each other as animals? Well, they don't address that. I mean, what if they're like, you know what? I liked you better as a goat. <laughs> I was having fantasies about a goat. Now you're not a goat. Now I'm really confused. I'm questioning my own experience as a goat attracted happens. person. Probably a, happens. A gap. <laughs> Uh, mm -hmm. Netflix's promotional photos of the, the show and all their absurd glory instantly promoted memes across the internet. That's what they wanted. They wanted you to be like, what the hell is this? Um, I just can't. Netflix's sexy beast is just the mass singer for dating. $10 says the first episode includes the phrase, love is blind. We're not going to watch it, right? We're not going to watch it, right? <laughs> oh, God. I don't even know who to complain to. I saw the sexy beast trailer. Yeah, that's... That's all they're doing. All these streaming services now, it's just about shocking people. It's not about making good stuff. Why don't we get good stuff anymore? Because th there's no views in it. That's why we get the car, how many seasons of the Kardashians. I know, right? It's like, that's why. Why aren't we seeing the Kardashians dressed up like furries? Oh my God. Um, Sexy Beast is the latest example of Netflix dropping a new release and immediately taking over the world of pop culture but it's also indicative of what Netflix banks heavily on to keep viewers hooked. Wild original programming, the wilder, the better. Yeah, but what I'm, I am concerned about is they're trying to equate it with furries, and, and it's not the same no, thing. It's not. And I think a lot of people are going to get caught up in, in something here, and it might cause backlash to people that, you know, are in that community. That's true. Um, I, I, I don't know. I think this is going to be a mess. That's what I think it's going to be. But I love it. We're trying to see if love is blind. We're trying to see if, you know, people can, be, can love based on personality, not appearance, as we put people that are obviously good looking in tight fitting clothes and that, that you clearly are hot with big, big boobs or nice butt. And, uh, and you know. Sexy beasts. I, I, you just can't make this up. Like I said, it's, it, it's, it feels like they're just pulling concepts out of a hat. It's like they've. They've got the pitch meeting guy from like, YouTube just coming up yeah. with oh, give them give random them time. crap. I'm sure they're going to do one of this, but it's like a wheel. Like they're throwing darts. Like, you know, uh, here's all the popular TV shows that are out there now. Let's see where it lands. Let's get two things and we'll mix them together. And you got like, yeah, The Bachelor and The Masked Singer. And it's just, I, I just, I can't wrap my head around this one. The Wuzzles as you've never seen them before. <laughs> oh my God, that's what Disney's going to do. They're going to reboot the Wuzzles on They're Disney+. They're going to make Plus. a dating show. It's going to be a dating show. It's going to be spicy. It's going to be their first Disney 18 plus show, no, Wuzzles. No, that's not. Zoobly Zoo. They could bring that back. Uh, okay, let's just stop over. I think we're going to, I think we're going to wrap this one up, right? I don't know what to <laughs> say about it. Wrap it up, bury it in the ground, put about six foot of soil on top of it. Take it to the pet cemetery. Take it. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes they just never come back the same, do they? No, so my life has new poipus. <laughs> oh, just stop. Anyway, gonna wrap it up. Yeah. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye.